Hello and welcome to our course, Understand the Difference Between Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services. My name is Tim Warner, and I'm a full-time trainer and technology evangelist with Pluralsight. I'm also your instructor for this course. We designed this course to answer the question, which public cloud vendor, Microsoft or Amazon, is best for your business? Of course, that's a loaded question, and you may decide that both or neither vendor is a good fit. Nevertheless, our goal is to help you overcome your learning curve with Azure and AWS terminology and to equip you with the wide spectrum knowledge you need to make an effective implementation decision. Some of the major topics we'll cover include putting the public cloud in context, comparing Azure and AWS in several important use cases, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, software as a service, hybrid cloud and identity, storage, database, security, and availability disaster recovery. By the end of this course, you'll have a clear picture as to how Azure and AWS are both similar to and different from one another. You'll be comfortable with all the requisite lingo and be able to participate meaningfully in cloud architecture discussions. Before beginning the course, you should be familiar with your company's business and technical requirements and have a clear picture of the pain points that led you to consider the public cloud in the first place. To follow along with my demos, You'll need an internet-connected PC or Mac, as well as a free trial subscription to Azure and AWS. Don't worry, I walk you through those procedures in the training. From here, you should feel more confident with the Azure and AWS public clouds. You should also be ready to proceed into deeper training on each platform in the Pluralsight library. There's plenty of quality content available. I hope you'll join me on this journey of cloud discovery in our Understand the Difference Between Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS course from Pluralsight.